my God, guys. You'll never guess what just happened. <laughs> my precious dog. He's not moving. He won't get up. And my son, Blake and I, we don't know what to do. Blake, come on, turn around. Get your face in the camera. What? I need you to cry more, louder. What are you talking about? He's gonna die, we have to get him to the hospital. We need to go, he's barely breathing. It's too late for your dumb dog, okay? So we're just gonna let Sprinkles die. Well, the money we have saved up is to buy me a Gucci purse and I'm not about to spend it on your ugly brat. Blake, honey, I need you to come help mommy take pictures for her fans. Sorry, mom, I can't right now. I have to finish this project for school tomorrow. Honey, these pictures are more important than your project. They help mommy get more followers and the followers like all mommy's photos and make her dumb friends jealous. But this is the final project of the year and it's worth 80% of my grade. Blake Johnson, get over here right now and help me take these pictures. Mom, every time I help you take pictures, it takes like two hours. I don't have the time. Don't they teach you in school to always listen to your mother and do what she says? What is this project? I'm writing a paper on how to stop the future spread of COVID. I figured out where most of the kids gather, and I have a plan to stop the transferring of COVID to one another. COVID? <laughs> COVID isn't real, honey. It's a fairy tale like Santa Claus. Those people are probably faking it so they can get attention. Now come on, let's do something that actually matters and help mommy with her photos. I can't. This is gonna help the future of humanity. You know what? I'm gonna teach you a lesson on what happens when you don't listen to your mother. Mom, what are you doing? I already told you COVID doesn't exist, so this project is a waste of time. Mom, stop, what are you doing? <laughs> Look at you, crying like a little girl. Blake, I want you to listen to me. You're never gonna do anything with your life. Don't you know that God made us all different and that we all have certain talents? For example, God gave me this amazing body that I can use to get famous on the internet and get money from makeup brands, bikini brands, and shoe brands. And of course, the dumb men that buy my photos. And God gave you those perfect little hands that are just the right size for holding my phone and taking photos. So come on, let's not let God down and waste our talents. Okay, Mom. That's right, honey. Just keep pressing that button. This is what's gonna make the world a better place. More pictures of me on the internet. Ah, oh, who is it now? Okay, you just stay right there and I'll be right back. Get ready to take more photos. Liam, what are you doing here? You know we're not married anymore. Yeah, I know. Just came to see my son. Okay, well you can't. I have full custody, remember? Yeah, because you lied to the judge and said that I physically abused him. <laughs> Well, a girl as hot as me has many tricks up her sleeve. The judge just needed a little hand, if you know what I mean. You're disgusting, you know that? I don't know why I ever fell in love with you. Look, you gotta let me see my son, okay? Well, if I did that, that would be breaking the law. And I'm a kind-hearted person who always follows the rules. Can I at least give him this gift that I got for his birthday? It's his birthday? Dad, I miss you so much. I miss you too, son. Mm, I don't know what I'd do without you. Dad, you need to come back. I need you. Yeah, I know. Don't worry. I got a plan, okay? Okay. Break it up, you sissies. You're making me sick. Wait, wait. I got you another gift. Oh my gosh! It's a puppy! I got him just in case you get lonely. You, you have someone to talk to and play with. What are you talking about? He can talk to me if he gets lonely. Now, Blake, get back inside. And you... Get out of here before I call the cops. I've been way too nice to the both of y'all. Thank you so much, Dad. I love you. Thank you so much for the gift. Love you too, son. And remember, I got a plan, okay? We're gonna see each other soon. Why don't y'all just get married? Now get out of here. Blake became really good friends with the dog his dad gave him. They played every day and night. His dog now named Sprinkles, helping get through all the tough times when his mother would yell at him and force him to take pictures of her. 
Ashley kept getting more and more frustrated because she would no longer get views on her videos. She was always thinking of new ways to get more and more likes. <sighs> Can't believe I'm driving you to get a stupid toy for that dumb dog. Mom, you promised if I took pictures of you all week, you would take me to get sprinkles some toys. Well, just remember that I'm taking valuable time out of my day that I could be posting on social media for this. I'm such a good mother. Thanks, Mom. All right. Here we are. We're here. Now you've got three minutes to go in and get your dumb dog one toy. Three minutes? We never agreed to three minutes. Well, it's either that or nothing. Or do you want me to turn this car around? No, 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 please, please. I can do it. Okay, ready, set, go. <sighs> what am I gonna do with that kid? I hate him so much. And I hate you too, you stupid dog. I think all dogs are disgusting. I think they should die. Jessica just got a million likes on her video. All she did was cry with her son. Anybody could do that. Wonder how I could get Blake to cry. Come here, puppy. Come here. Come here, mama. Stop coming out with you. I said, come here, you little rat. <laughs> Sprinkles, you won't believe the toy I got you. It was on sale and it was the last one. Sprinkles? Mom, Sprinkles isn't moving. Oh, really? What? That's crazy. I thought he was just sleeping. Jackpot. Mom, we have to do something. Let's take him to the hospital. Yeah, yeah, we will. I just need to update my fans first. Huh? What are you talking about? We have to hurry. There's no time. Quiet. I need to concentrate. Oh my God, guys, you'll never guess what just happened. <laughs> Our precious dog, he's not moving. He won't get up. <laughs> and my son, Blake and I, we don't know what to do. We just can't stop crying. <laughs> Blake, come on, turn around. Get your face in the camera. What? I need you to cry more, louder. What are you talking about? He's gonna die, we have to get him to the hospital. dog was not only like my best friend, but he was like a son to me. <laughs> we really need your support right now. So if you could like and subscribe, that will help us get through this. Remember to like and subscribe. That would mean the world to us. <laughs> we need to go, he's barely breathing. It's too late for your dumb dog, okay? Plus, those vets are horrible people that charge thousands of dollars to help dogs. So we're just gonna let Sprinkles die? Well, the money we have saved up is to buy me a Gucci purse, and I'm not about to spend it on your ugly rat. Ma'am, you're under arrest. Please step out of the vehicle with your hands in the air. Under arrest for what? What did I do? For animal cruelty and mistreating your child. Animal cruelty? Mistreating a child? I've done no such thing. Plus, you have no proof. Yeah, we got all the proof we need thanks to Sprinkles. Yeah, put a little hidden camera on his collar, saw how bad you treated him and our son. Take her away, officer. Dad, help! Hey, Come on, son. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you Dad, we have to get Sprinkles some help. He's gonna die. No, don't worry, I called the vet. He's gonna be here in a couple minutes. Thank you so much, Dad. I love you. I love you too, son. The veterinarian arrived a few seconds later and was able to give Sprinkles some medicine just to get him to breathe again. Ashley was declared guilty and convicted to two years in prison. Also, full custody of Blake was finally given to Liam, and Blake could now live with his dad. It's so important not to let social media take over our lives, because when we do, we treat those around us not as human, but as an object to get more views or followers, and ultimately, it affects the relationships that are closest to us. Thank you for watching this video, and remember, here at Generation Hope, we're trying to make the world a better place.
one story at a time.